everybody, BrickLover18 here today, and in this video, I'm going to talk about hanging Lego models from the ceiling. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. So if you're a Lego plane collector, you know that they take up a lot of space. I have a full shelf full of planes in my Lego room, but it was just getting too crowded with a lot of the new sets I was getting, so I decided to hang some of them above my Lego city. As you can see I have like three hung, including another really small one here, but that doesn't count. And what I used is very simple. First things first, you need hooks in your ceiling. Hooks is definitely the most important part, like you cannot do this without hooks. What I recommend is just buying these hooks from, you know, the hardware store and you find a stud in your ceiling and you just make a little hole and you screw them into the wood just so they don't fall out. If you just screw them into your drywall, it won't work because it won't have any support underneath. Once I had my hooks in the ceiling, I got some fishing line. Fishing line comes in like a huge wheel with a ton of fishing line. As you can see, it's all completely clear and very, very sturdy, not easy to break. So what I just do is use a bunch of this. You'll never need as much as it comes in a roll. So I suggest trying to find like the smallest roll or even raid your dad or your uncle or something like that fishing tackle. You'll also need some scissors. Once you have your hooks in the ceiling and your fishing line and scissors, what you'll need to do do is find the Lego model you want to hang. Here in this model here, as you can see, I find areas in the Lego model that are securely attached, so like don't attach it to the propellers or something like that, because they quite easily fall off. As you can see on this helicopter here, I taped it, or I didn't tape, I just looped the rope around each of these two sides, and as you can see, it's very firmly held on the helicopter and is not going to let go. For smaller planes you don't need to do this, but for the longer planes, or the bigger planes, I find it easy to have these little ropes coming down at the front as well as ropes coming down at the back because if you just have them at the front, the back will tip and if you just have it at the back, nothing's staying on the helicopter. Once it's all kind of in, I just fasten it all and it's really hard to show, but and I just like fastened it to the little hook there. I didn't quite tie it, I just made a loop. It's kind of a lot of experimenting once you have the fishing line and the Lego models, just because every model is different. For example, the line's actually in this plane under a brick, and then it comes up through the ceiling and it's all good. And just be aware, you probably will drop a model here and there, I've done it a couple times today. If you don't have access to hooks or you're not allowed to put hooks in your ceiling, I recommend trying something like tacks. I do caution though because even a plane this size was a little too heavy for the tack and it eventually fell out with just a little tug. Thanks everybody so much for watching this video telling you how I hung some of my Lego models from my Lego room ceiling. Overall I think it just adds some nice dimensions to my Lego city and it looks like a real city with you know like planes and helicopters flying around. Thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to leave a like. 